Are you all? So I hope all of you are fine. Okay, so up to the last class, do you have any doubt? Anyone? Any confusion that you have uh, up to the last class? You can clarify. No doubt. No, sir. Okay, so all of you have understood how to draw the velocity diagram using the relative velocity method, instantaneous center method, how to locate all the instantaneous center for different mechanisms, etc. Okay, so later on we have also discussed about uh, the, the basics of the velocity uh, diagram. Okay, so they are how to draw the acceleration uh, image for different links for two points, etc. All those things we have discussed. So uh, there we have seen that. Uh, this acceleration actually whenever the velocity is changing both in magnitude and direction then the acceleration has got two components one is the radial component or the centripetal component of acceleration next one is the tangential component so if you can recall uh, in the previous classes so radial component or the centripetal component basically it acts along the uh, it acts along the along the considered link okay that is parallel to the link and uh, parallel to the link means perpendicular to the velocity or uh, this tangential component and how the tangential component behaves. So tangential component, it is perpendicular to the direction is perpendicular to the velocity uh, per leak, okay? That is along the velocity, okay? So these two components should do. So if you can recall how to uh, get that particular value, so centripetal component or the radial component, okay, of acceleration, how to get it. So it was omega square into the link length, okay? And uh, about the tangential component, it is the alpha into the link length, okay? So then alpha is what? Angular acceleration. That means if angular acceleration means rate of change of angular velocity. So if angular velocity is constant for a particular case, that means angular acceleration will be zero. There will not be any change in the rate of change of uh, angular velocity will not be there. So it will be zero. So in that particular case for constant angular velocity, if, it is a, if a link is moving with constant angular velocity, for that case, there will be no tangential component of acceleration. Okay, so those things already we have discussed and how to draw taking proper scale as these are all graphical methods. So those things also we have discussed. Okay, so up to this pass, uh, any, any confusion, anyone? Those are the main things that we have discussed in the last class. Let me know, then I'll understand. Okay, seems no. As enough, enough you are saying anything, that means I, uh, I, I understand them. That all of you have understood it. That one also we have discussed about Coriolis component of acceleration in very uh, basic level. Okay, so in the maybe in the next class, uh, today we'll be solving some. Uh, we'll see how to draw the acceleration, uh, like for slide decking mechanism, for four bar mechanism, etc. Okay, and in the next class, maybe we'll go through Coriolis component of acceleration. So uh, I believe uh, we have got sufficient number, so I think we can start, right? So if you have any doubt, you can let me know, or if no, then just let me know that I can start, then I will move ahead with this to this topic. Shall I move ahead? Shall I start the topic? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, uh, I, I, so these uh, today, what we are going to do, we are going to see how to draw the acceleration diagram and corresponding how to find out some values of acceleration velocity, etc., for slide recurring mechanism and later on for uh, your, you can say, forward mechanism. Those things we are going to see today. So, as this being graphical method, so once again, as I am always stressing, that means uh, using the proper scale that will be very important. Similarly, uh, that uh, uh, you have to the requirement of all those geometrical instruments is there so that you can draw this thing properly okay so take out all of uh, 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 i believe along with me if you practice okay by actually drawing on uh, on your paper okay then it will be good so i hope all of you will be uh, doing along with me okay so now uh, we are going to draw the uh, slide uh, a velocity and acceleration diagram okay for slide mechanism. So now already we know how to draw the velocity diagram, but 
for drawing the acceleration diagram itself and correspondingly uh, so that we can find out the proper uh, values of the some required acceleration values etc so first step first and foremost step itself is to draw the velocity diagram okay so even if you need to draw the acceleration diagram at first you should have the proper velocity diagram and then only we will go for the acceleration diagram so some of the values that uh, that will be required to be used in the acceleration diagram will come from the velocity diagram okay because we know from you, if you draw the velocity diagram properly so from there you can get we can get the uh, values of different uh, different uh, velocities of different links from that particular velocity diagram and those values uh, some of the, those values will be required while drawing the acceleration diagram that means there will be two steps if you have to draw the acceleration diagram first drawing the velocity diagram as per proper scale properly and next is you uh, have to draw the acceleration diagram okay and what are the different stages that we will discuss okay first we will go for the so acceleration like uh, drawing acceleration diagram in case of slide recurring mechanism okay so now this uh, the slide recurring mechanism that is given oab is the uh, slide recurring mechanism that is shown so here oa is the crank which is rotating with an angular velocity of omega in the uh, angular velocity of omega radian per second in the clockwise direction so AB is nothing but the connecting rod. V is the slider here, which is reciprocating in this particular guide. Okay, and the angle is angle here is theta. So we have to draw the uh, proper velocity and acceleration diagram. So ultimately, if someone asks you only to draw the acceleration diagram, then also you have to automatically draw the velocity diagram because that will be the first step to, uh, while constructing uh, the acceleration diagram. Okay, and now I believe all of you already uh, recall how to draw the velocity diagram for a uh, slide diagram mechanism. Still, we'll go uh, start with this. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll start take a, take a, uh, these are the fixed point, right? O is the fixed point. Okay, so now we know the velocity of point A, this point, okay, which is on the link OA that can be obtained as so velocity of point A with respect to O that is nothing but I can write it is the as OB is a fixed point I cannot write directly PA or velocity of A with respect to O P suffix A O okay so we already know P equal to R omega so here omega is already given omega into the link length OE so OA okay so that is going to give us the velocity of it in the clockwise sense okay so that is the magnitude so now to draw the velocity polygon or the velocity diagram we'll start with a point o okay we are taking the point o okay we'll start from here and uh, uh, from here what we are going to do by taking a suitable scale for denoting this particular value omega into oa we'll take a particular scale that has to be mentioned properly okay that is very important scale what is the scale you are considering that has to be mentioned? That means this must, suppose in your picture, suppose uh, diagram, uh, this must uh, centimeter denote, suppose this must meter or whatever. Okay, at this suitable scale you consider. And from there, we are going to draw a line to denote the velocity of it, okay? That is PAO, okay? So, and that particular velocity magnitude already we have and that will be perpendicular to this line that we already know so along this direction that we, okay so that will be perpendicular to the link so so this pao is this this oa length this vector represents v a o in magnitude as well as in direction okay because we know it will be perpendicular to this next now Velocity of point B with respect to A, okay, which is on the link AB, okay, that is the connecting rod. Now we know it will be once again perpendicular to this link AB, right? Okay, so now from point A, what we are going to do, we are going to draw a line which will which will be perpendicular to the link AB, okay, and that will represent the PBA, velocity of B with respect to A. Okay, but right now I we actually don't know where is the exact location of point B small b. Okay, that is a b length we don't know, but in the proper magnitude we are drawing it. Okay, so it may be somewhere here also no problem, but along this line which will be perpendicular to this line. Next, what we have, we have got the slider b here, and what in which direction the slider b is moving? Okay, slider is having reciprocating motion along the line of stroke direction. So this way. 
okay so this is the line of stroke direction so this way actually the velocity of b will be there with respect to o or o being the fixed point directly i can write either v b or v b o okay so what will be the direction this way it will be there so from o what we will draw we will draw a line which will pass through like this okay and that particular point also will contain line also will contain point b and from this previous case this line should contain point b so the intersecting point is nothing but point b okay and this vector it represents p of b or p b o okay b o means it is relative velocity of b with respect to o and o itself is the fixed point so directly i can also write p b okay absolute velocity okay so this completes the velocity diagram for this particular case now from here once we have drawn this velocity diagram so this extra things may be trimmed off okay so you can only have the polygon no problem uh, so extra the extra length it can be trimmed later on okay you can delete it okay so now from this particular figure so now what we'll do you take up this particular all those values okay pao was previously known in magnitude and uh, uh, direction board so other two you just find out you measure them okay so pba you measure okay that is ab this length you measure and convert as per the scale so measure and convert as per scale and get the velocity of pb that means pb also that is ob that must length also you uh, measure and correspondingly as per the scale you convert it to whatever is the value okay and from there you have obtained the some unknown velocities okay and this will be required while drawing the acceleration diagram after this much i believe velocity diagram is okay let me know yes hello yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay thank you so you also try along with me okay keep on going okay you might, right now we might not be using proper scale but at least the diagram uh, the dimension uh, this direction etc properly you can take next step is actual step is our drawing the acceleration diagram so for that as i have said velocity diagram was the first step that we have covered okay so now this is the main thing so now if you recall Hello, acceleration it has got that two component okay so if we consider the different of uh, uh, I'm just drawing the slider in a very, it is not good one, okay, very bad one. You can consider, okay, so as we can have the reference here. So this is the B, okay, I think this point was A, okay, and so this figure is very bad i'm just drawing here so that with respect to this we can discuss okay okay so now we know that so this is let me check whether i'm using the same notations or not okay this was o a b okay it is not c it is o okay so now we know that we have got that particular two component of uh, acceleration that is the radial and the uh, tendential acceleration component okay and uh, now if we consider this particular link crank that is oa link okay so now the radial acceleration of point a this point with respect to o it is given as f of f superscript r a o means for this particular radial component a with respect to o okay and we are writing like this okay f for acceleration okay a o for acceleration of a with respect to o and the superscript r it represents the radial acceleration that is radial acceleration of a with respect to o okay it is given as we already know omega square into the link length okay o a or a o -A. okay so now yes this is known thing next omega is what p equal to r omega you already know right so that means i can write omega as what we can write omega it is p by r okay that is p a o p of a o divided by r means that link length only okay o a or a o okay and it is omega square so this is squared this is squared into this o a is there 
okay so from here oa and oa will get cancelled what will remain so pao square by oa okay so now this p of a o it is already known yes that is already we already have p of a o okay p equal to r omega okay so that value can be utilized and similarly o a that link length is already there okay so that can also be obtained okay that means some numerical value of it we will get now that means as this is the acceleration diagram we are going to draw once again the scale you have to mention okay what is the scale at what scale you are denoting the acceleration values in your diagram okay so that conversion factor you have to show next if you consider this that is about the radial component and we know that there is a component known as the tangential component okay but as per the question this o is moving with an angular velocity of omega radian per second okay that means angular velocity is constant that means alpha is zero so there will not be any tangential component of it or the tangential component will be zero okay so the tangential component that is f suffix f superscript t for a o of a with respect to o is zero okay because omega is constant okay now we are going to draw the this particular acceleration diagram okay so we have got only radial component for it so first we'll start with the fixed point o okay so we'll take up that particular point o and from here we are going to draw the f r a o that is the radial component of acceleration of a with respect to o okay so in magnitude as well as direction it is known in both okay magnitude we are will get from here and direction it will be as it is the radial component it will be along the line so parallel to this particular crank so we are going to draw this radial component okay o a dash will draw so we are now going to use dash okay a dash b dash like that because in the uh, your velocity diagram already a b small a small b those points already we have utilized so corresponding points here we'll be using a dash b dash all those points okay so we are drawing o a the vector o a dash okay which represents the radial component of a x radial component of acceleration of a with respect to o and it is parallel to the link a o okay and scale is you have to consider the proper scale next we'll start from this point a dash a dash point okay now from a dash point we are going to now what is this okay we have got this a b link right that is the connecting one now here also we know that that radial component uh, to find out the total acceleration we have to have the radial component as well as the tangential component of acceleration the vector summation of that is going to give us the f of your the total f of a b or b a okay uh, for acceleration of b with respect to o. but for that we have got radial component and acceleration uh tendential component so radial component will act along this particular link direction okay and tendential component will be perpendicular to the link direction. that is known okay and the corresponding values we already know that is how to obtain the radial component so for now that the now we're going to draw this f radial component of acceleration of b point with respect to a that is f superscript r b a okay so now we'll draw uh, draw this with we'll start from a okay a dash point so we are going to draw a factor a dash x which will represent the radial component of it so once again radial component how can get so that's like this but right now the link is your b a okay so we can draw like we can get the value from here p p a square by p a okay that is the radial component of acceleration of p with respect to a and it is parallel to the link a b okay so we are going to draw this so a x will draw so this is the radial component record radial component okay this is the x point so it is known in magnitude and direction both okay done so this p b a from where we'll get We'll get this VBA from the velocity diagram. Already we have measured in and converted as per the scale, and these values we are going to utilize here. And we'll get that particular numerical value, and that can be con considered as per whatever is the scale you have considered. Okay, that's why you now see that the requirement of velocity diagram is there 
for drawing the acceleration diagram because these values i am going we are going to take from the velocity diagram itself okay so that is done up to this much is it okay let me know all of you are with me yes sir yes sir okay thank you next our task is we know the radial component is done done okay that means now from x point we are going to draw the tangential component of acceleration but now for the tangential component of acceleration drawing it okay we don't have the numerical value okay we know the direction that is it will be perpendicular to it but we don't know where is the what is it, how much is the exact length that means x b we want to draw x b dash okay which will locate the point b dash but we don't know we know the direction of it that will be it will be perpendicular to the link ab okay ultimately it will be perpendicular to the radial component but we don't know what is the exact length okay we don't exactly know the location of p okay so what we'll do from x we'll draw a line perpendicular to your that particular ax okay and we know that somewhere here the b dash point will be located will be there okay so so that will represent the tendential component b with respect to a okay next what we will do is yes, after this passage is it okay yes or no yes okay. yes sir okay okay now there is another logic that we can do see the b is the slider that we have here right okay so now uh, the slider is moving along this particular line of stroke direction so acceleration will be along this direction only there will not be any radial component at all okay so it is the reciprocating motion so this along this direction directly the acceleration component will be there okay along the line of stroke direction so fb if or directly fbo that is with respect to the fixed point o either you can write like this fb directly okay or f of b o o is the fixed point so it will be the absolute thing okay there is no other way okay so and what what will be the direction we know that along this line of stroke direction that means this way only the acceleration component uh, acceleration will be there but i don't know what is the exact value but we know the b point is there right so from o now from o what we'll do we are going to draw this f of b okay what is the direction direction is along this line of stroke direction so along this line of stroke direction we are going to draw the uh, b so this factor represents f of b okay now the previous line okay the perpendicular tangential uh, tangential component one and this f of b both of them will contain both of them should contain the point b with respect to b that is the b dash point should be there so wherever they intersect that is the b dash point okay so this is the b dash point that means all the points are now being located here okay so a dash is here x is here so b dash is here so now we know that along this direction along this direction the tangential component is there along this direction okay now join a dash and b dash and that will give you f of b a that is the, the total component okay okay and this completes the acceleration diagram how to draw the acceleration diagram. okay so let me know whether you have understood that steps or not if you have followed along with me if you have tried to draw along with me it should be very clear let me know all the steps are clear or not almost clear okay almost clear means yes you uh, try drawing it okay then it should be proper totally clear okay but if you have any specific doubt you can ask right now any specific doubt that you have uh, tapas no sir okay okay so next as we have drawn the completed the this particular acceleration diagram for it so after that what you can do you can measure all the 
already we have located all suppose uh, f of p that is the uh, that is located similarly the tangential component of b with respect to a that is f t p a similarly f of p a all those things have been found and uh, the nomenclature has been done properly in this particular figure so what you can do now as this is a graphical method you have considered a suitable scale and then you have drawn okay and then some of the logic says that suppose this uh, suppose b dash point should locate here suppose one logic another logic said it should locate along this line and all and you have got some intersecting point and that gives you the proper location of it so all those things are in proper some proper scale now what you will do whatever is required if you require suppose f of pa you measure this particular line a dash b dash and convert as per the scale that you have considered so that will give you the numerical value of uh, your acceleration of p with respect to a and direction will be this whatever is shown in this particular acceleration data. similarly all the others can be found out okay f of b can be obtained suppose the tangential component previously we didn't know in terms of numerical values we only knew the uh, direction so now if you measure this mass okay suppose x b dash so you'll get the f of t b a okay so tangential component you will get so you will do the measurement whatever is required and after that you'll just do the conversion okay so this completes this particular problem and i believe now as you know how to draw it so if some numerical values are given in some problem and um, it comes as a kind of problem okay someone gives you like a problem suppose it is moving with this mass angular velocity 10 radian per second link length is this okay connecting rod length is this okay and some of the values are being given so i believe now as you all of all of you already know the step how to draw it what are the different logics that you have to utilize i believe so utilizing this whatever is the uh, relationship you can just put the numerical values and get the numerical values and draw it as per required scale right now we have not considered any numerical value but the whole uh, scheme we have developed discuss okay so this is about this problem let me know whether you understood or not Yes. So now we'll move ahead to the uh, next topic. Is my is my screen visible? No, sir. Yeah, you should have said that. Uh, it was it was visible during the while I was solving the problem. Yes, sir. It's not visible now. Okay, now it's not visible. Okay, okay. Because yes, uh, in the college internet is actually <laughs> gone. Okay, I'm as you already know. I use uh, my own internet, mobile internet also for using this particular voice. Okay, because my laptop microphone is not that much good okay it, some echo etc those things keep on coming so that is the thing now i can say that means I, I cannot see the uh, screen screen in my mobile so that's why i thought whether it's visible for you people or not okay so i actually shared the uh, things from my laptop and uh, i used uh, this uh, mobile for uh, this sound purpose okay audio or video it's like I don't know what is happening actually. Okay. In the meantime, if you have any question, I am trying to reconnect from my laptop. Okay. In the meantime, if you have any question, any doubt, you can ask. So how is your exam preparation going on? I 
I don't know what happened to all colors internet. Let me try once again. It's showing no internet connection. It's all of you, all of your, all of you started studying for your end semester exam. Yes or no? Sir, we have lab test on Saturday. Okay, lab test you have got now. And what about uh, mini project? You have, uh, you have done something or not? Yes, sir, it's on Monday. Yeah, I know it's on Monday, but uh, all of, I believe all the groups have done at least some study or that kind of thing. Because, you know, this time it is, uh, real problems are there, okay, that is understood. But still, I hope uh, all of you have done something, something to show, something to showcase and augment your knowledge, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So, okay, so for actually, for, I don't know where uh, college internet, I think, is down. Okay, so uh, sharing the screen will not be uh, possible now. Um, okay, so for, if you have any doubt from whatever we have discussed today, uh, let, uh, you can clarify. So, we'll... We have to stop here today. I thought that the next one also we'll discuss today, but uh, as internet is down, so we'll stop here. Let me know if you have any specific question, any doubt. Sir, in the exam, I have asked few of my seniors that how means what will be the time and pattern. So they told me that it was very lengthy pair type of paper. It means. It's very too lengthy to complete in three hours. So will we get some extra time for that? Which paper is too lengthy to complete in three hours? Sir, I have asked in, in some of my mechanical senior, they told me that their HT heat transfer something like paper was very lengthy to complete in three hours. Like okay. almost every two papers they have given. Okay, first thing, first thing, uh, I don't think that the paper will be set in such a way that it will be, it will not be possible to complete in three hours. I believe all the teachers take care of uh, that particular scenario. Okay, generally what we do, I'm not talking about others. I try to uh, solve the problems myself also. I'll say, suppose whether, uh, if you know the answers, okay, then whether you get some, Within that three hours period, it should be comfortable, like uh, it should be able to solve it. Okay, so and generally that way the mark distributions are also generally given. Okay, so uh, uh, sometimes it will happen that if you if you uh, like uh, if you waste time or like that, okay, maybe it might be uh, difficult. And and if you, I have said with some of your seniors, suppose they. They try to take advantage of this online mode. We know what are some of the drawbacks are also there in the online mode. Okay, so don't think about that. Generally, uh, generally the questions are so set that it should it should be uh, doable within three hours. Okay, the hundred percent things if you know, if you don't know and if you waste time, okay, then that is difficult. Ca different case because time management during in any exam also is an art. Okay, you should. That's why my advice will be to first. Uh, Always, that's generally, I believe, in from your class, uh, school level itself, teachers used to say, you just go through the, you take five minutes, devote five minutes in the very beginning to at least go through the, what is the questions, what kind of question paper it is there, okay? So from there, sometimes it may so happen, that means a paper, a particular paper, maybe somewhat lengthier than that of the previous year, that kind of thing may happen sometimes, okay? Five, ten minutes, this, either, other, that kind of thing, okay? But, uh, but the thing is, just, Initially, you get devote five minutes for it is going through the question paper and you see the pattern or see the marks distribution, etc. Okay, and in your mind, automatically there should be a particular calculation that means at what speed I should move so that, or maybe what should be the timing I should devote for each question or this kind of question so that I can comfortably complete the things that I know and, and things should not be left out. Okay, that kind of thing should come, uh, come to your mind automatically. 
so the thing is uh, three hours is the duration that is there okay and uh, sometimes it so happened that due to some uh, some tolerance is there for network disturbances and all okay as per the notice that has been sent to you circulated to you from exam department okay so that way we follow, uh, that way, that way it has been followed and uh, you you uh, be in contact with your mentor okay who is your mentor for exam tapas sir okay you you uh, remain in close contact with him okay and i think we'll be making some groups also for exam uh, okay so in those groups also you be active okay active means if something is appearing okay some problem you are facing okay directly you can report and uh, definitely all the this all the your mentor similarly their management will be uh, they are there with for helping you out with this online mode of examination okay i'm not saying that everything is 100% uh, full proof okay but uh, but but uh, looking at this scenario we are doing the best as 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 best as possible okay and that is that is for the students favor okay in for student you should be the winner that is the thing okay so best of luck for exams also okay we are not we have not covered the uh, like syllabus is almost over our syllabus is almost over okay maybe in, within one or two classes we will uh, We will complete the things, okay? Uh, and uh, yes, other things also. Uh, how how are the other classes? Uh, other other courses? Sir, almost finished. Almost finished, na? No? Okay. Uh, so everything is everything. Most you are comfortable on all the subjects. Yes, sir. Apart from manufacturing. Yeah. What happened there? Sir, the faculty only does reading in the session. Actually, so it's better to read book instead of listening to him. How how did you know that in some days reading? Sir, where in the Google Sir, Meet, the I we can hear the turning of pages. Okay. I think along with uh, I think he is uh, making me understand the things. You are asking the doubts or not? If you have done another test too. Asking doubts. Sir, he just reading the yeah. book, sir. So, no, nothing to understand, sir. We can understand by ourselves. Okay. By reading, sir. Okay, I think maybe just in the in middle middle means towards the end he has come. Now maybe he is also taking some time to cope up with this particular subject. I don't know whether he was teaching this this subject in. previous uh, institute or not sir, actually sir about the class test also uh, he got six marks sir uh, there was question 10 questions sir. Uh, sorry four questions of 10 marks sir i asked him uh, sir where you got the marks and he is not replying sir and he said you cannot demand marks yes sir even me okay so i think that question paper was sent by your nitesh sir actually he actually Set up the question paper, but he came and he had sent the copies. Actually, I think that was the thing. Question paper, I think, was set up by Nitesh itself before leaving the institute. Yes, sir. So you should at least he had a doubt, sir. Where did he cut the marks, sir? At least. I. Uh, okay. Okay. You. If you have any specific uh, doubt, or if you suppose, you have, and definitely you consult with him. Okay, and if you feel that everything was correct from your part, in in that case, if there is a different case, but sometimes what may happen if subjective for that kind of thing, you may think that you have retained the things. Okay, but uh, you should not miss the vital points. Sometimes if some vital points are there, and if you even if you keep on writing very lengthy answers or like that, but if you miss the vital points, then sometimes the some marks might be deducted. But I don't know what is the case in your in your case because I have not checked those things. Okay, but generally sometimes this kind of thing also happens. Some uh, basic things or some uh, proper uh, nomenclature and all, okay, which you should use if you are not using. Then some marks are deducted, and uh, if sir, no mark is deducted, then yes. Sir, at least you should clear the doubts, no, sir, uh, so that we don't make mistakes, such mistakes. In uh, yes, 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 yes. I agree with that. I agree with that. So I think is the uh, like. He is taking time for coping up. I think maybe that might be the case because uh, instantly he has come now as in a short notice actually. 
so let's let's see that um, if you have still any doubt okay try try to uh, try try to contact him okay try to clarify the doubts once again if sir. no uh, yes sir we try sir i don't know we because sir i tried to contact him that uh, sir which question do means that gone wrong so that my four marks were deducted but he said that you come to college the you once the college reopens you come and i will show what is this sir how after the college reopens what what should i do with this doubt means sir yes uh okay you you do one thing maybe uh, uh do you know where where uh, where it was deducted you know or you no, know no, actually no, all the sir actually sir, i will want to know that proper the... diagram and in points okay you try to like uh, for Yes, contact one second. Suppose if, at least in this way, that means uh, where you are making the mistake, so that you don't make the mistake in future. Okay, so that way, if you uh, ask him, maybe he should listen. Okay. So I okay. asked him that way, sir. I didn't uh, ask him marks, sir. Only the doubts. But he said uh, by coming to college only he'll clear, sir. That's not the thing. Yes, sir. after exam we, if we come to the college and ask the previous semester's doubt so how how is that possible how is it it will be benefiting us in the exam yeah you 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 can you can uh, you, you go through the question paper and that way if you find that this problem uh, this question i don't know properly or like that the answer i don't know properly maybe that can be that 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 kind of thing can be done okay so you go through suppose whatever is the manufacturing question was there okay sub plus test question okay so that you can do okay or sometimes it may so happen that if uh, the four marks it may be it it might in a single question it was not cut okay maybe one marks in that one marks another okay because it was not the perfect one so that may also so we happen we only four question in the question paper that to 10 10 marks yeah that is what i am saying okay if you are saying the four marks has been deducted i am saying that maybe it may so happen that it was not cut it was not deducted on in a single question but it was deducted maybe you got 9999 out of 10 10 10 10 that way four marks was deducted it may so happen and that means you have scored a good marks 9 out of 10 if you have got they okay, have got a good marks but uh, some some mistake sir, was there. some mistake means some ah uh, yeah actually uh, the thing is Yes, I do understand. Some uh, you have got some concern, definitely, because if he he should he should clarify the doubts, okay. But I think maybe because he came at an instant, and in between he actually maybe he is taking his time to cope up. Okay, let's see what happens. Yes, okay, I believe uh, later on it should be okay. Okay, because in between the tester went and he suddenly came in, what is the syllabus, etc. Okay, that kind of situation might have happened. Okay, or he might not be conversant with this. He might not have taken up this kind of subjects in in the previous institute, maybe. Okay, so that kind of thing also might be happen, might happen. But still, you uh, try your best, and also yes, definitely some reading has to be done from your side also. Okay, so as you have seen, so looking at the scenario, what is the best for your people? Okay, you should act accordingly. Okay, as you have seen that this kind of thing is happening, maybe you you take as preventive measure from your side. Okay, as you. as best as possible okay that means you copy you try to you try reading books by yourself so that so that some of the things can be you can understand some of the things which are left or like that okay so that will be my advice so we'll meet next meet in the next class okay for today we'll stop here thank you everyone for joining thank you sir Thank you, sir.